What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and OneDrive for Business. Now if you don't know, OneDrive for Business is an incredible tool that allows you to store your files, folders, images, etc. On, on the cloud and allows you to access them from various locations. You can share these things with people, you can collaborate by OneDrive. There's so much things, that, so many things that you can do with OneDrive for business and using Power Automate and OneDrive together can really turbocharge those processes and make you even more efficient. So the next series of videos are going to be all about OneDrive for business and Power Automate. In this first video, we're going to look at the first uh, the first trigger for um, for OneDrive for Business, and that is when a file is created. So let's take a look at that now. So I'm in Power Automate here. Uh, I've created a flow already, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the OneDrive for Business connector. You can see automatically it's there in this front in this first row of connectors. So I don't need to search for it, but you can also search in the search bar as you know. So we choose the connector, and now we have a OneDrive, uh, uh, OneDrive connector, OneDrive for Business connector. When a file is created, so I choose this one. And what we're going to do is the first thing it's going to actually do is identify a folder. So it wants to know where where we're going to find where a file is created. So this is slightly different from some other aspects of Power Automate but there is actually a small file explorer inside Power Automate here. So folder, this is a unique identifier for the folder. So you could try typing something in, but the, the, um, the file explorer is a lot, very easy to use. So we're going to click on the folder. It's going to pop out a little bit like dynamic content, and it's going to show some stuff. So the first thing it's going to show you is the root. So this is like the base directory. So when you when you log into your OneDrive for Business, this is where you start from. So as it's saying, is it is it going to start from there? Um, and anything inside that folder is going to be picked up. But in my instance, I've actually created a folder ahead of time. So I'm going to click on that arrow. It's going to take me to another folder. And then again, I've got my list of folders inside here. For um, for Power for Power Automate and OneDrive business, so I've created a new folder called Power Automate. So if I click that, it's going to populate that into the folder directory. There, I can also choose Show Advanced Options. Now we have two options here. We have Include Subfolders and Infer Content Type. So Include Subfolders. What that means is we're specifying we want to have uh, we want to trigger this flow when we create a new record inside this folder, but you may have a folder inside that folder. Now, do you want to trigger this flow on all of those as well? Or are we literally just doing it in the root directory of this folder? So like we're specifying this folder, no subfolders. So in my instance, I'm gonna choose no, I'm not actually I'm not gonna include subfolders, but I could choose that. And infer content type allows you to pull the content type out um, and just sort of take whatever that is. Now I'm not really too sure why this would be needed because most things have a, a content identifier. But I think there's some metadata in, in OneDrive for Business that can pick those things up and, and try and classify those. So um, next what I do is we need to add a step. So I'm going to add a compose action in just to see what this does. So click compose. Uh, and in the inputs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a file path. So we should already know what the file path is uh, but I'll put it there. The reason I'm not going to choose a uh, file name is because I'm going to create this file through OneDrive and I don't want it to pick up sort of the uh, temporary name that would have when I'm creating the file. So the file path would be a little, a little bit easier to understand. Uh, I'm going to test this out. So click on test. I'll perform the trigger action. I'm going to save and test. Uh, and then that's running. So I'll flick over to my OneDrive. This is my OneDrive for business. And uh, this is my Power Automate folder, since it says files and then Power Automate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file inside here. So I'm going to just click New. And then I have the option to create uh, Word documents, Excel, PowerPoints, OneNote, Forms for Excel, um, or links to, to websites and things, or a folder. I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose a Word document. Uh, and then what I will do is I'll say uh, Power Automate Test video uh, document uh, and we'll stick that into the name as well so p a t uh, v d so power automate test video document 
uh, let's say now if we flick back to my um, so if we go back to uh, if we go back to my under our business and just refresh the page we should see this document in here so we can see that in there there and if we go back to my power automate we can see that we get the green bar to say that flow runs successfully um, and it's just taking a minute to to update um, sometimes I have found that um, it's not always rendering that screen great so I'm sure I jump out and jump back in here and uh, view it from my flow runs uh, because this loads a bit quicker so we can see the input so we can see this is the folder and then it's giving me some information about the file identifier the path and stuff like that and it looks like the path's not not great either um, so we're going to get that as an output. I thought it was going to be something a bit more uh, friendly. I did actually, um, when I was testing this, I was using file content type. Uh, but it doesn't matter. We can kind of see that these two match this L2RYAX, L2RYAX. Um, these two things match. So this means that we can trigger flows based on files being created. So you could have a uh, folder where you're uploading stuff to um, and you want... Um, to get notified when new things go in that folder. Maybe it's a shared OneDrive folder. Uh, if you're not using, um, if you're not using um, things like SharePoint, etc., um, you could use something like this. But yeah, there's loads of loads of potential to kind of use these things to do some automation based on uh, when new files are new files are being created in your in your OneDrive. But as always, I like to know what you guys use this for. So let me know in the comments down below uh, what you're using this for. Are you using it? Is it something you're using in the future? Let me know. I'm always interested to learn. If you like this video, if you would like and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time.